Hey good people, Arthur Morris here and in this video we're going to look at continue to look at solving radical equations that simplifies into linear equations and this one, uh, these couple of problems we'll look at, they have, we have two radicals so when we have two radicals we want to have one radical on one side of the equation and the other radical on the opposite side of the equation okay so let's see here so start off with a square root of Alright, so to move a radical, I'm going to move the one that's being subtracted and we're still going to use the addition um, property of equality. So I'm going to add this square root to both sides of the equation, just like adding a number to both sides. So that will cancel those two out there, and that will leave me with the square root of 5 times b plus 3 equals, and it says 0 plus that, so just the square root of 2b plus 15. All right, then the second step is the same second step that we've had before. We want to clear the radicals by squaring both sides of the equation. it cancels out both of those radicals now we just want to solve the equation so I'll I want to do this step at the same time subtract 2v to move my v's to the left and subtract 3 to move my numbers to the right so that cancel the v's and cancel the 3's there so it leaves me with 3v equals 12 divide by 3, divide by 3, and v equals 4. Alright, let's check to make sure that's correct. So using my original problem here, 5 times replacing v with 4, so 5 times 4 plus 3 minus the square root of 2 times 4 plus 15 and that should equal zero when I simplify. So I have 20 uh, plus three, so the square root of 23. And then I have eight plus 15, which is also 23. Square root of 23 minus the square root of 23 is zero. So V equals four is correct, that checks out. So let's look at another problem. All right, so this one, same type of problem where we have two radicals. Uh, in this problem, the radicals are already isolated on each side of the equal sign, so we don't have to move anything. We just need to begin by clearing the radicals. And to clear the radicals, what do we do? That's right, square both sides. All right, so we have 8x plus 1 equals 4x plus 9. Okay, again, same steps. Let's solve this equation. So subtract 4x from each side. Subtract 1. So 8x minus 4x is 4 times x equals 9 minus 1 is 8. Divide both sides by 4. And then check your answer. And you can check it mentally or you can plug it in and check it. So 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17, so the square root of 17, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 9 
equals the square root of 17. That's true. It checks out. X equals 2. Alrighty, good people. I hope you found that video to be helpful. Thank you.